Peter Chow here. So I'm not sure if you guys have seen it, but a mother bitch decided to go on a long-winded tangent about how she hates the Chinese culture, most specifically Chinatown in San Francisco. Fuck your little herb gardens, fuck your little seafood fucking markets. Apparently it was her last day on the job so she decided to go ape shit crazy and tell the tourists on the bus about how the Chinese are loud. There's too many of us. We eat turtles and frogs. We wake up too early and our kids are too loud. But hold on. Did I mention it was this bitch's last day on the job? I mean I know Asians are taking over pretty much everything but it's pretty sad when you can't even sustain a job as a motherfucking two guy. I'm the opposite to this bitch. I love the black people. I love how they listen to the hippity hop don't stop, their undying love for fried chicken, the selective few of them aka this cunt who depend on a hard working American's tax dollars so they can struggle through their pathetic life living on welfare waiting all year for the one dollar any size soft drinks from McDonald's so they can get a bucket of cola to further their path to having the ears of all illnesses, the diabetes. Let me tackle this bitch one step at a time. First of all, we're everywhere because you're going through Chinatown. You people have the Bronx and we have the place that has the best thumbprints in the world. Drugs, guns and hoes in your spot. Delicious seafood bubble tea and unbelievable bargains in our hood. At one point, she says nobody in the salons knows how to speak English. Fuck your little hair salons where nobody in there knows how to fucking speak English. Bitch! Even if they did low English, they still probably wouldn't speak it out of consideration of hurting your fat feelings. So honestly, you're lucky the nice ladies at salons are talking in their native tongue about your ashy ass cracked feet or your nappy ass hair because otherwise you'd know that your bad wig looks like the shit out of a cat's ass. What are some of her other points? Oh yes, there's too many of us. There's too many of them out here. Okay, you can't see it now, but during the day, just to walk down these streets is like shoulder to shoulder traffic. It is ridiculous. There's too many of us because as I mentioned before, we're slowly taking over. We're not here to find a job or take your shit job as the worst tool guy ever know. We're here to stop businesses and help the motherfucking economy because we're seemingly the only ones who have the money to do so. The world certainly won't depend on your useless ass for anything. And what's this about us waking up too early being loud? What? These people wake you up at 6 in the morning. They make all this goddamn noise all the time. I don't know what Asian you're thinking of because the middle-aged Asian ladies I know of wake up at 2 in the afternoon, walk a few laps around the mall, eat some dim sum, play a little mahjong, get their nails done and go to bed. I mean fuck! The bubble tea place I go to doesn't even open until 3 in the afternoon. Here in America, we don't eat turtles and frogs. We eat turtles and frog rags? I've never eaten a turtle in my life. And I'm pretty sure frog rags is a European delicacy. And frog rags taste like a chicken wing anyway. Oh my god. Chicken. Chicken. I just said the magic word, didn't I, Laquisha? Chicken. Ooh, I bet you're drooling now. I mean, not that I would ever be as racist to say fuck your noise, fuck your dragons, fuck your parades, and fuck Chinatown. Fuck your noise, fuck your parades, fuck your dragons, fuck this shit. Fuck Chinatown, okay? Fuck them. But if I was to say the equivalent of that for you, it would be like fuck your bleaching cream, fuck your grape drink, fuck your hair relaxer, and fuck the hood. See? I would never do that. Why? Because I actually write the grape drink. It's, it's actually pretty good. And mother bitch, who do you think makes your AliExpress weaves? With all my people, you'd be fucking bald. But anyway, I digress. I'm not racist. I love the black people. I love fried chicken. I love wigs even. I mean, my best friend. He's black. Jamal Jenkins is my main man. And he'd come say hello, but he's too busy washing my car. Until next time, do what this woman should have done a long time time ago and that is stop drinking the haterade and start drinking the bubble tea. Ciao outside, motherfucker. It feels like a perfect night to beat your ugly face. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the song that you are listening to just now, head over to my iTunes by clicking the douche box. <laughs> Box. On top of that, if you want to watch my response to a racist Indiana kid, click the box to the right. And below that is some of my best videos. Uh -uh.